has a granny pilot. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and see what this comes up with. Okay, I mean, I love it. <laughs> I, I really like it, but uh, I'm not sure any of these will actually work. Although, maybe we can actually use something in the background to actually build our jet on of, off of. Off of? I can't speak. Um, <laughs> I mean, I love it. I, I don't know what to do here. I'm not sure. All right, so th this might be the first one that we are we are looking at. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a bogey uh, from far away, but actually it might be part of his glasses. Her glasses. It's a granny. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to the next one. This is what we've got next. In the background, I can see this thing right here. It looks kind of like we could actually build that, actually. So that might be something that we end up building. Uh, again, granny looks amazing, <laughs> um, but also just is never inside the actual cockpit. Which is, is very strange. They always seem to be outside, which is, is weird. Anyway, let's go to the side and check out the other ones. This is a really cool looking thing. That looks like a little jet up there on top of this thing, which is kind of weird. Uh, if we go across the other side, we've got this one with a few random wings, a few artifacts. This one has a million wings and the granny looks amazing, but still. Um, she's actually in the cockpit on this one, but also sort of on the outside. A little bit strange. Anyway, below that we've got a crazy granny that has, uh, seemingly destroyed something behind her. Uh, and then there's this jet to the side. So I'm thinking, we take the cockpit of this one, and then we go across to the side, and we build this. I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work, but let's get to it. Okay, so let's get to it, shall we? I, I really don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna go ahead and make a mixture of the one that I said and the other one that I said. Anyway, fuselage is the first thing that we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and grab this and shove it straight on there. I think I've accidentally uh, twisted my camera and I don't know how to twist it back. So that's a thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and shove it in there. There we go, good. And uh, we'll sort this. How have I twisted my camera? Genuinely, I have no idea. Oh, yikes. I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it. Okay, so, uh, on one side, yes, let's go ahead and do this. This is not symmetrical at all. Uh, and essentially, the granny is actually sitting on top of most of them. But, um, I'm thinking we actually sit them on the inside. Jimmy is turning into our granny. But that's okay. So, let's go ahead and try and figure this out together. Uh, we're gonna make this smaller as we go. We're actually gonna go down to 0.8. Um, and 0.8, yes. Uh, towards the front, we're gonna do the same thing, 0.8, and 0.8, yes, this is gonna be okay. From there, we're gonna go ahead and send this guy forwards, uh, and essentially, it is gonna be sort of rugby ball shaped. So, let's do that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and talk through this for whatever reason. We are essentially just gonna go ahead and build a bit of a rugby ball shaped hull, uh, and then we'll go ahead and build the fuselage onto the back of this. I say the back, I mean the top. Um, overall, in the end, I think this was a strange pick of a build uh, from the AI since we could have got something better, but it's still cool. Okay, uh, I, I don't see this being a problem so far, so this is good. Um, on the rear of the, the first one, uh, there is actually a wing, but it is on the back. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that design. We're gonna go ahead and strap a wing to the back. Uh, this doesn't make much sense to me, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. So we're gonna go ahead and strap that on there. Let's go ahead and send this forwards. Yes, go ahead and send it in just a little bit as well. Uh, and then from there, we can actually bring the front bit out to the side. Uh, and that should be fine. So we'll do this. We'll also bring this guy out to the edge as well. There we go. And this guy is also going to come out to the side. There we go. So we get ourselves, um, I guess a wing <laughs> uh, that is going to go on the back right here. Clearly um, not looking too good so far in terms of actually going to be able to fly. But we're going to go ahead and try it. So send these guys out to the edge. And there we go. Uh, on the back of that, we actually have some vertical stabilizers that go out to the sides. So that is actually the next thing that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and cut this like so. Yep. Go ahead and grab this guy. Okay. And we're going to extend it to make it a little bit bigger before we turn it into a crazy mess. Okay. Crazy mess inbound though. So don't worry about that too much. Here we go. So this guy is going to go backwards like so. That's good. Um, and this guy is going to go... I guess backwards as well. Actually, let's go and drag the entire thing backwards. There we go. And from there, what we're gonna do is grab this piece. Okay, this one in the middle. We're gonna angle it off to the sides, and it's gonna look awesome. It does actually poke out just like that. From there, I actually really want to extend this guy downwards. 
but I don't think it's gonna work. I, I don't think it's gonna work anyway, because it's it's actually part of that wing. So if I extend this down, what actually happens? Let's save it first as AI, Pl AI plane, AI plane one. There we go. Uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, yeah, it's just making that skinnier or fatter. Okay, interesting. So if we grab this, here we go. We can actually copy it and put it on the bottom. Okay, so try and put it in pretty much the exact same location as this one to begin with. There we go. We can then grab this. We can flip it over. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, I'm struggling. There we go. That seems like the right angle. And then just attach it together. That's that's literally all we need to do. So send this to the side. There we go. And make it smaller. This is so weird, but I think it's going to look so good in the end. Okay. Bring this up. There we go. And that is essentially how we're going to leave it. So far, that actually looks sick. I think it looks so cool. Okay, so from here, we actually need to go ahead and add some air inlets to the outside. So that is the next thing we are going to do. Okay, so still quite, like, I haven't quite got the hang of actually adding these side inlets just yet, but uh, I'm trying my best on this one. Essentially, I need to know how I'm going to go ahead and make the hole uh, on the actual hull itself, or the fuselage, uh, in order to actually let the air through from this. Now, I don't know whether this is... I mean, I, I feel like I've done this very wrong, but at the same time, there is still a hole there, so you can actually get air through, uh, and it does actually somewhat work. Also, overall, these inlets actually somewhat fit the build, which is really cool. Um, and again, it, it's not the right plane, but we did it. <laughs> we, we did it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest. Okay, I mean, I don't see a massive issue with this, so, so far, so good. And now what I'm gonna do is go to this guy. I am gonna go ahead and try and copy it, if I possibly can. So grab this guy, go ahead and copy it, there we go, and send it to the front, where we will be placing it on both sides. So, let's do that, here we go. Attach that to there like so. Wait, is this completely wrong? What is going on here? Hang on, go to the inside, I might be able to grab it from there. Uh, nope. Okay, hang on. Turn around. Send it. There we go. Okay, now I've grabbed the entire thing. We can now send it out to the side and build it from there. Okay, because it has canards on the front. At least very, very tiny ones. Whether this will work or not, I, again, I, I don't know. But let's go ahead and send this to the center. There we go. Go ahead and send this guy again to the center. This one to there. And this one is going to come out just a little bit to here. We're then going to try and make it look nice by, I don't know, extruding these guys a little bit? That actually looks really, really weird, but also kind of, kind of cool. There you go, it looks a little bit like a squid. Yeah, in fact, we could call it the squid plane. There we go. Kind of unique, very interesting. Voila! Okay, we got our squid plane ready to go. All right, now it's time to actually add a bit of a cockpit to this. So, I don't know where the actual pilot themselves actually are right now. Um, I think they're somewhere in the center of this, but that's okay. So, what we're gonna do now is attempt to build a cockpit on the top of this. Now, I'm not gonna do an interior again, so don't worry about that too much. Um, but essentially, we're gonna go to this guy, and we're gonna start making a cockpit out of it. So, send this up, essentially. Go ahead and send this up as well. Go ahead and mirror it. There we go. Uh, and I want it to be extremely sort of boxy. So top is going to be sort of flat. There we go. Uh, and that's okay. So if I can copy this. Yes. Move it backwards and paste it in there. Apply. There we go. That is weird, but actually probably going to work. Yeah, that doesn't look too terrible for me. Okay, so quit this. Actually, no, don't. I need to assign some glass. Okay, it's important. It is very important that we get some glass in here. There we go. Glass has been added. Go ahead and add glass to the side pieces as well. Okie dokie. Very nice. Very nice. Glass pieces have been added. Looks a little bit like a spaceship, but I suppose it should. Um, and there we go. Nice. Okay. So let's add a loop. We'll attach that to right there. We're going to change that to the default. So it is just going to be like this. I didn't mean to add that to the front, but that's okay. Uh, yep, keep adding this around the outsides, good. And go ahead and change this one back to glass again. There we go. Okay, it's strange, but don't worry about it too much. From there, we're actually gonna go ahead and do this. So, change this so we're not changing anything. Go to this guy, and start extending these guys 
forwards. I think he's going to make it nicer. So bring these guys out. There we go. Go ahead and bring this guy and this guy out next. There we go. And then bring these guys all out together. Like so. There we go. Should give us quite a nice cockpit shape, actually. That's good. And now all we need to do is move it down and move the pilot into position. Which, um, is there. Okay, fantastic. Is this gonna work? Is it gonna fly? Are we gonna be able to get this thing to fly? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Alright, sorry, going back to it, we actually need another one of these. So, uh, let's grab ourselves an actual wing, go ahead and put it on there, and it goes in the center. For some reason, this thing has a million vertical stabilizers, but that's okay. So, let's go ahead and uh, strap this guy to the center. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over, like we should. Yes, 90 degrees, excellent. And then, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna bring this guy into the correct location, which is about there. We're gonna send this guy forwards to about here. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and skinny them both off. It's actually gonna be a very skinny wing, that's okay. And we're gonna do a very similar thing right here. So, skinny, there we go. Actually bring this down an awful long way. There we go. Send it backwards. Fantastic. That guy, probably not, actually. And there we go. Okay, from there, we need to actually add this guy. And we need to add this guy. And then we need to send it upwards, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. So, cut this right here. Nice. Good. Grab this. Send it into the sky. And it is going to look lovely. Realistically, it should be very small, but that's fine. There we go. Very, very skinny. There we go. Grab these guys all the way to there. Send it down slightly. And that is it. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this too. Yes. Okay. Right. Do we think that looks cool? I think it actually looks kind of interesting. Doesn't have anything going for it really, but it's, it's still interesting. Uh, so from here... Oh, I haven't actually deleted the side on this side. I should really do that. I should really do that. So, assign material, hole. There we go. For this guy, this guy, this guy, and leave it like that. Okay, cool. So it can actually get through to the jet engine, which is going to be back here. Nice. Here it is. Turbine. Yes. Go ahead and show it directly in the center. Go ahead and move it up into the right position. Here we go. Yes. Uh, move it forwards so it actually fits in there. Uh, this is going to have an afterburner because why not? There we go. And that afterburner is going to look cool. There we go. Variable valve. A uh, variable thingamabobby. Area? Sure. So it actually makes it wider and, and smaller, that's okay. Uh, what we're going to do from there is increase the size of it so it just fits in the hole. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess, sure. So let's go to diameter and make that way bigger until it just about fits. And then push it forwards to there. Fan dabby dozy. That looks so strange, but that's okay. Essentially what I want to do from here is add fuel to the rear so that the center of mass comes backwards just a little bit. And then I would like to actually move it backwards even further, but we're not going to do that. So, let me sort out all of the control surfaces, add some landing gear, and see if it works. Okay, are you guys ready for this? I haven't actually spawned it in yet to see what the landing gear looks like, but I'm assuming it's not very good. Anyway, here we are. This isn't terrible. Um, my pitch is wrong. Pitch on the front is incorrect. Uh, these guys are going different directions. This one in the center needs changing. Uh, the ones on the bottom, also, oh my, okay, right, so, center and the bottom ones need changing, and then the front one needs changing too. Okay, got it. Oh my goodness, that is loud, that is so loud, here we go, down the runway, okay, it is fast, <laughs> we're in the sky, okay, landing gear up, roll is incorrect, but it is working, oh, it is so loud, it is, so loud, okay. Oh my, okay. Accidentally s oh. Is it gonna save itself? No way that worked. Okay, right. Okay, sorry, I am having to show here. It is, it is a very loud aircraft, but it works. I didn't expect it to fly at all, but we did it. We did it. Okay, so I wanted to look and, and sort of, yeah, just look a little bit nicer. So we're going to go to the back of this. Uh, we're going to change the shape of this guy to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to go ahead and bring this in, bring this in as well. And uh, we'll slowly actually bring it down. So let's do this kind of shape. There we go. Take it to both sides. Apply. There we go. 
Uh, that definitely looks a little bit better. Um, I don't want it to be as pointy though, so let's go ahead and drop this down. Fantastic. Then let's move forwards and try and make this bit look a little bit nicer too. So we're going to bring it in, bring it in, bring it down just a tiny bit, down just a tiny bit. Mirror it so it's the same on both sides. Apply. Um, and yeah, okay, that actually doesn't look too bad. Copy this, move it forwards, paste it into there. Apply, there we go. Again, makes it look a little bit better. Um, and then we're going to go to vertexes. Vertexes. We're going to go to both sides, and we're going to send this guy actually quite far backwards. So, grab this, send it all the way to here. Fantastic. And I think that looks pretty good. From there, we're going to do these guys as well, just a little bit. There we go. And that looks... that looks okay. I think that's fine. Um, so yeah, we did it. <laughs> we built an AI plane that actually somewhat works. And before I actually finish this, I do want to paint it. Um, it is going to be painted in a similar color to what we've seen. So it is going to be sort of sandy colored, I guess. Uh, sort of like this, I guess. Yeah, sure. Um, and we're just going to paint the entire thing like this. So let's select it. Paint it. No, that's not going to work. Paint all. Yes. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Sure, why not? There we go. So this is, it actually looks more like a gold-plated plane at this point, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. We did it, guys. We did it. Anyway, before anyone says anything, although actually this is the end of the video, um, wait, is roll wrong? Roll was incorrect, wasn't it? Um, yes, of course, there is a better way to get a better um, plane out of the AI, rather than searching for something with a granny in it. But... Um, honestly, I found this kind of interesting, and you know what? We got a thumbnail too, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, what do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. I think I copied it somewhat okay, um, but at the same time, it's not quite correct. But at the same time as that, I think we've built a plane that's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take off one more time. Alright, I turned the jet down, but it is still quite loud, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get ourselves into the air. It should take off really quickly, actually. I could take off way quicker than I did, but that's fine. Roll is now correct. Landing gear needs fixing just a little bit, because we can just about see it. But, um... It totally works. It totally works. Oh, this is lovely. If we actually built a full-on cockpit in this thing as well, I think that might be even better, but... Yeah, it does seem to sort of, like, turn around by accident a few times. Uh, we need to sort the pitch out for that, but... That's okay, because it does sort of stop itself from stalling as well. As you guys are currently seeing, actually. <laughs> it's it's attempting to stop itself. Okay, but what if we cut the engine? What happens then? Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, here we go. Aim down. Throttle up, here we go. Yeah, nice, sick. It's insane. It, I mean, it's it's actually really cool. Oh, we do have a bit of a weight problem. We do have a little bit of a weight problem. Is that due to the fact that we are losing fuel? It doesn't actually seem to be that way. But I'm struggling to fly it right now, and I shouldn't be, really. Oh, okay. Let's fly upside down. It's probably a better idea. Here we go. That might stop us from stalling. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Let's go straight towards the ground. I can't even do that very well. Oh! Uh, nope. Something's up with the plane. <laughs> Something is up with the plane. Okay, after some fighting, we are now flying in the right direction. And uh, <laughs> we are now gaining speed. So that's good. Uh, I don't know how it fixed itself, but it totally did. Uh, and I do believe it will actually maybe get to Mach 1. I think it'll get to Mach 1. At, like, sea level, essentially. Yeah. Okay, Mach 1 has been sort of reached. Just about. There you go. Nice. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to go and end this video here for now. If you guys enjoyed this one, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do in the future. I might actually try and get some more detailed ones, which I might flash on the screen at this uh, at this time. Uh, just to show you guys ones that I have seen in the, in the past. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.